Oh, well, there's your problem right there. We forgot that we can pick locks. Alright, how do we do this again? Come on in. I could use the company. Uh, Valesta sent me to see you about a job. You get about it. This old guy, Grumpos, he hires me to go into the tunnels, right? Bring back some mistech, easy job. Hell, I wasn't there ten minutes when something came out of nowhere and did this to me. I mean, look. Look at me. And the old bastard won't even pay me. He said, no Miss Tech, no money. He's in the tenements next to the movie theater. If you want to punch him in the face for me. Right in the face. Wow, that was uh, surprisingly dark, actually. Whoa, like, the rest of this game has been kind of campy sci-fi, but come in here and find uh, this poor woman missing an arm and a leg. That's Melissa's bracelet. Can you take it back to her? Sure. Um, tell Melissa what happened, please. I need a friend here. Sure thing. I'll, I'll find this Valesta person. What Valesta? This is the person that talked to me at the very beginning, I think. Right? Huh. Well. That was kind of sobering. Okay, so the tenements. Right. Um, looking for the movie theater at the tenements. We can make that happen. No, no, no. Wasn't trying to see credits. No offense, game developers. I'm very respectful. Hey, kiddo. I just ran a internet search on this Grumpos character. His last name is Matavastros, and he was the curator at the Mistech Museum until about six months ago when he retired. Luckily for you, she was right. He lives just across the street in Building 5. Make sure to check their building directory. His apartment number is in this tent. Oh, well, I can do that. Pop back on in. I guess that's the movie theater, huh? Now playing Mystic Pizza. <laughs> Mystic Pizza. Oh, wow, this is uh, really cleverly written, and uh, I love the little, uh, the little nods in the world. All right, so Matavastros. Um, Matavastros. Where are you, buddy? Matavastros G. It's in C19. Okay. Uh, what, what does that mean? Section C. 19. So that's that's that glowing door up top, wasn't it? either pay this lady or buy her like robotic limbs or something. This would be where this Madarashu's character lives. Let's uh, let's knock. Answer. Alright, well we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick the lock. Alright, let's see. Just do it, man. There's no one there. Just do it. Oh, snap. Hurry 
up, Rosa. Oh, will you wiggle your hands faster, man? What the? Think you could slink into my home that easily, you little thief? Uh, I'm not a thief. Says he after breaking into my house. No, I I'm not a thief. I I'm looking for work. Smart ass. Ah, ah, I heard you were hiring for a plunder job in the tunnels. Uh, I thought... Who told you that? Uh, Dianimo? The animal. That's a pitiful excuse for a thief. She ain't getting a penny out of me. Not one, you hear that? I feel bad for the girl, but she wasn't hired to fail, and I ain't paying for pity. Tell the animal she doesn't get paid until she makes good on what she was contracted for. Well, you know, actually, I'm not here for the animal. I'm here to finish her job. What did you say? The tunnels. The mistech. I'm your man. I'm experienced and expensive, available. Yeah, and desperate from the look of it. No thanks. Come on, Gramps, I'm up to snuff. Just give me a chance. You need an escort, I need a job. What do you say? Is that a yes? No? I'm in the middle of something. Will you stop distracting me? But you're not listening. If you need a man to plunder the tunnels for you, look no further. I'm your... Whoa. Okay. Who's obsessed? Unlocking the hidden power of Mistech is my life's work. I'm closing in on a breakthrough. I can feel it, but I need more samples. So what's the problem? My last hero sallied forth and got her limbs ripped off. How are you any better than her? I'm a professional. Prove it. Bring me the helmet of a Nox guard. I can do that. That's easy. Size five. Brother, I'll be back in ten minutes. Splendid. Get out! All right, so I just got to get a the guard's helmet. OK. Obtain a size five Nox guard helmet for proposed level five. Okay. I can do that, mate. <laughs> no girls allowed. Nice. Hey, another taco. What these are for? Anything uh, cool I can click on in here? Just ignore this guy a little more, uh, annoy this guy a little more. I don't want to see your face again until you bring me a size 5 Nox Guard helmet. Fine, grumpy pants. Sheesh. Alright. So there's tons of Nox Guards around. Just, uh, where am I going to find one with a size 5 helmet? Size 5, like, really big for a Nox Guard? I'm assuming so? I like the magnum size. Let's see. Got a Mystech Museum member card. Cool. So now I can go into the Mystech Museum, I guess, if I can find it. These apartment designs remind me a lot of uh, Fifth Element. Wait, let me back out. There you go. See if this uh, kind guard at security will uh, give up his helmet. <laughs> Thanks so glad. Security. Hey, hey. Do I have to pick another lock to get you to come back out?
there. Do you have a size 5 helmet? Size 5 helmet? If you're making some joke about my chest, I'm gonna strip search your insides. What? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I didn't quite get that, aside from just like the, the wanton violence he was threatening me with. Alright, little guy. Give me a safe spot. Size five, size five. Uh, maybe back here where they're roughing up this guy. Where exactly do you think you're going? Hey, do you have a size five helmet? Is that some sort of joke that our heads are small because we have no brains? It's not funny, man. Even if I wasn't an ox guard, that wouldn't be funny. I've been issued a smaller size helmet before, and it really hurts. In fact. They should a guy from Platform Division a smaller helmet just this morning. Anyway, what were you asking? Platform Division, huh? Gotcha. So I guess size 5 is actually a small helmet. Alright. Platform area. Where is the platform area? One wonders. Is this the tunnel area, right? I don't think there's anything here. Oh! That guard and that scientist are gone, huh? So it seems like they're conjuring a, just a ton of uh, of sci-fi kind of uh, vibes around here. Obviously, Blade Runner's a huge influence. Also, uh, Deus Ex, which, granted, Deus Ex is uh, influenced itself by Blade Runner. Uh, but it really works, actually. Okay, tenements up area. Let's uh, well, let's, let's try paying this little guy to take us to the platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One money. All right. Platform area. Let's go. Oh, you got a ship waiting right now? Alright, show Warning. me. Warning. Transition major of flight section C, D, E, and F will commence in 15 seconds. Um, Please keep area clear. The district of South Anacronox is not liable for injury or death. So did he actually take one of my loonies and uh, not Stand show me where I need to go? What a jerk. Herself. I get the feeling this would be like a bad game to play for some point. Hey, did you see the sneakers on? I'm oh, no, sorry. <laughs> some of the uh, different thoughts going on here. Did you see the sneakers on the power line there? That's great. Oh, those little touches really make everything worthwhile. Um, but no, I get the feeling somebody like uh, a tendency towards motion sickness would have a problem with this game because the camera never stops moving in these cinematics. That's how you've got to handle these prevalons. They're stubborn as they are stupid. What'd you say to me? That's right. I didn't think so. Aw, oh, not even mean, guy. Okay, platforms. Platforms, platforms, platforms. Where do I find them? Oh, through here, apparently. Oh, is that my little friend showing me now? Uh, follow him wherever he's going. Okay, we're here. Got it. Wait for me, buddy. I paid you a whole loony. Alright, to the left, huh? Got it. Seems like a waste of loony. I could have just followed these signs, huh? Left these bail bonds. I don't know why I feel like everybody on Anachronox has a Joycey accent. I don't think I've actually been through here before. Uh oh. Is this guy gonna jump me? Oh, this is another one of those crazy uh, gravity surfaces. Whoa! My mind can't take it! Wait, 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 wait for me! Wait! I wanted to stop and save, but no, you just kept on trucking. Oh man, it's so crazy, all these grab paths. Hey, out of my way. I can't see I'm chasing this little uh, scammer bot. Over here now. 
way up there. Take off, huh? Pretty wild, huh? All right. Uh, and I, oh, they're just floating signs. But I guess that's like directing the, the space traffic. It's so cool. Okay. Billboard, yeah. <laughs> That is one good billboard advertisement right there. Makes me want to buy a billboard. Too bad I've still got a headache from that damn helmet. What, wait, what, what damn helmet? Well, just a size 5 helmet this morning. It was cutting off circulation and I kept passing out. And luckily, the knocks got out of leave from duty. It was nice enough to give me this replacement. What? Well, where is he? I've still got the size 5 helmet in my storage pack. I want to see it. I should have got it. Do you think I can have the helmet since you're not using it? Sorry, partner. It's not mine to give. I'll tell you what. They give away free sandwiches and goodies to people who are down on their luck. <laughs> the salvation surplus on Skid Row. Uh, I'm going to try not to threaten this guy. But I really need a helmet officer. Have pity on a poor, unemployed loser. Here you go. I won't listen to yourself, pity, buddy. you got to change your outlook on life. Stay optimistic at all times. Could be much worse. Be thankful you're not going living in poverty on a planet like Jim Guinness or Religion Crates on Goria. You got it good, mister. Life gets easier when you put things in perspective. Life gets easier when you give me that helmet. Persistent nurture. Look, that helmet isn't going to solve your problems. Life is what you make it. You can either be happy or depressed. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love the writing. I choose to be happy. Good for you. You gotta be the most enthusiastic person you know. That's my closet. My closet. Oh, I couldn't agree, agree more. Yeah. Not gonna have the helmet. Yeah. You're like a broken record. You want the helmet? You won't be happy until I give you the helmet? Fine. Here's the helmet. Mission accomplished. Job well done. I'll go away. Yay! Alright, I didn't even have to fight him. Sweet. <laughs> this is a fun little side quest. Alright. So, now i got to backtrack all that way, huh? Go check out Grumpo, fucking Mustafa, whatever his name was. Let's make sure we save on the way back, because I just get like eight save points. Because I was following my little uh, robot friend. dominant blue lighting uh, throughout most of the area. It's, it's very um, cool and it's, it doesn't uh, wear out the eyes too much. I really, really liked Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution, but uh, the dominant amber lighting actually just, it made my eyes really tired after staring at it for a long enough time. But it's a lot easier on the eyes. Alright. Uh, ten minute area. Got it. Alright, leave me alone. Cruiser. Card mechanic. I know every trick, every sham. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I wonder what life would be like if people carried on conversations like they did in video games. Like you're just standing there on the side of the street and somebody approaches you and you're just like, hey, here's some random bit of knowledge about me.